And welcome back, everyone, for week 17, the final week of the 2019 NFL season. Some people think this is the hardest to handicap. I don't, especially after I went 4-0 last week against the spread. Also, we've got Billy B back. He's going to give us some college picks and NFL. Let's start off with Billy. All right, what's up, everybody? Billy B back. Week 17 for the NFL, final week of the season. we got the playoffs starting next week. Um, for the NFL picks, I'm going to give you my college bowl plays quite a bit. Of, quite a bit. So here we go. I like Notre Dame, minus four. Arizona State, minus five. Wyoming, minus seven. Alabama, minus seven. Southern Mississippi, plus seven. Western Michigan, plus three. Nevada, plus seven. And Penn State, plus plus or uh, Penn State minus seven and then um, since the college playoffs start uh, tomorrow uh, Saturday I'll give you uh, my picks for the two games these are not my official picks I'm just going to throw them out there just because they're the playoff games uh, I do like Oklahoma plus the 14 and I like Clemson minus two so there you have it for the college picks Gio is going to give you the NFL picks for right now The first game we're going to look at has Green Bay Packers going to Detroit, where the Lions are 13-point dogs at home. You know, Green Bay can actually clinch the, the top seed in the NFC East with a little bit of help. All they need to do is win this game and have San Francisco lose in Seattle. And that's going to be an exciting game. That's the, is the Sunday nighter. Um, this is a game where I don't think Green Bay is going to fool around here. They don't want to be winning by just a touchdown and then maybe uh, have Detroit have a chance with a fluky touchdown to tie it and then who knows what could happen in overtime. I think Green Bay is going to make sure they're winning by a lot in this game. I'd actually lay 25 points if I had to. I only have to lay 13. So that's what we'll do. We'll take the Green Bay Packers minus 13. The second game we're going to look at has the New York Jets going to Buffalo where the Bills are one point. Uh, favorites at home. Uh, you know, these two teams are, are, are kind of reminding me of each other. B very good defenses and a uh, couple of young quarterbacks. Sam Darnold uh, for the Jets and uh, Josh Allen for the Bills. Allen may not be playing this game as Buffalo has absolutely nothing to play for. The Jets, you know, they could have been in this situation had Darnold not got mono at the beginning of the year. Uh, they've won five of their last seven games. They've got some momentum as the season ends. I think they want to build on that momentum for next year. I think they win this game, and you get the point. So let's take the New York Jets, plus one. The third game we're going to look at has the Los Angeles Chargers going to Kansas City, where the Chiefs are nine-point favorites at home. You know, since Patrick Mahomes has come back, the, the uh, Chiefs have been red hot. I think they've won five straight. They're doing it with defense as well. Defensive coordinator Steve Spagnola, it, it took him, you know, two thirds of the season, but he's got this Chiefs defense playing very well. They've only allowed 48 points in, in their last five games. They're outscoring the opposition something like 136 to 48, which is about two touchdowns a game. Um, the Chargers, you know, they, they don't win very many games and they're one of the worst teams against the spread. I think the Chiefs can actually improve their, their, Playoff position by, I think, one. They can't get the number one spot. That belongs to Baltimore. But a win here, a solid win by the Chiefs is expected. Let's lay the points. Let's take the Kansas City Chiefs, minus nine. The fourth game we're going to look at has the Philadelphia Eagles going to, the, going to New York, where the Giants are four-point dogs at home. You saw what Philadelphia did uh, uh, in their game against Dallas, a, a must-win. They, they steamrolled the, the Cowboys, and they're a better team than the Giants. This is for the number one spot in the NFC East and the fourth overall spot. Uh, that would be they would host a game. Uh, basically, Philadelphia wins and they they they're, they're in the playoffs and they're a battle tested team. You know, this is a team that just a couple of years ago won the Super Bowl. The Giants uh, they won four games all year. Not not that good unless Saquon Barkley does a lot of running. Now that the um, the fantasy is over. He, you know, he was my first pick overall. Now he's doing well. Whatever. Uh, my point is this. I think the Philadelphia Eagles take care of business. So you know what? Let's lay the points. Let's take Philadelphia minus four. The fifth game, we're actually going to do five games against the spread this week, has the Indianapolis Colts going to Jacksonville, where the Jaguars are four-point dogs 
at home. You know, Jacksonville's only won one game out of the last seven. I think right now they're more interested in next year. They they got their high pick, uh, I think it's sixth overall. They've also got a pick from somebody else at, uh, I think, 20th or so. I think Jacksonville's already looking forward to next year, rebuilding, retooling this team. Indianapolis has a, a good shot at... Uh, here at, at going eight and eight for the season, you always want to do that. Go eight and eight, as, as the price isn't that high. It's four points, so you know what? Let's let's lay the points. Let's take the Indianapolis Colts minus four. And the sixth game is is a doozy. Maybe one of the best games of the year. It's the Sunday nighter as the San Francisco 49ers are going to Seattle. The Seahawks are three point dogs in this game, but that's not what we're going to look at. We're going to look at the total. The total is forty seven. Now, Seattle is uh, down to Marshawn Lynch. They've actually brought back Marshawn Lynch beast mode as a running back. Uh, don't expect Marshawn Lynch to uh, run the ball that much, which will mean that Seattle has to th throw the ball. Uh, San Francisco's defense has sort of gone missing the last four weeks or so, but they're putting up big numbers them themselves. I think this is going to come down to the, the last team to score is going to win this game. This game... The total should sail well well into the 60s, maybe the 70s. So you know what? Let's take over 47 in this game. All right, and for the NFL picks, before we get into them, uh, week 17, hard week to cap, but you don't know who's resting starters, who's playing. Try to keep it uh, with games that mean something to teams because, you know, the teams that aren't playing for anything are hard to Hard to see what team's going to show up. So uh, first pick, I like the Chicago Bears plus one against the Vikings. Uh, it was just announced that the Vikings are going to be resting most of their starters. So I think the Bears will be able to win this game. So take the Bears plus one. I like the Kansas City Chiefs minus nine against the Chargers. Kansas City is still playing. Um, they still have a shot at the bye, but I doubt the Patriots are going to lose to the Dolphins. So, um, But they're both playing at the same time, so they won't know. I think the Chiefs come out. It's a, it's a home game for them, so I think they'll be able to win this by double digits. So take the Chiefs minus nine. I like the Dallas Cowboys minus 11 against Washington. Dallas still has an outside shot at making the playoffs. Um, they are going to want to um, win this game. Uh, Jason Garrett's on the hot seat, so I think he'll, he'll be coaching for his life here. Uh, I think the Cowboys can win this game by two touchdowns or more. So take the Dallas Cowboys minus 11. And my last pick is the Philadelphia Eagles minus four and a half against the Giants. Eagles are in a win, it, win and get in situation. They win this game. They're in the playoffs, so I think they'll be motivated. Um, they're, they haven't been... You know, they did win that game against Dallas last week, but they're not um, clicking right now. They are going to be without Zach Ertz, but Goddard is a good replacement for him. Uh, he's been stepping up the last couple of weeks. Um, and Wentz is going to want to uh, get the offense rolling uh, to make it to go into the playoffs a little bit with um, some offensive momentum. So I think the Eagles will win this game by a touchdown or more. So take the Eagles minus four and a half. All right, and before we wrap it up, I want to uh, thank Gio for letting me be on his channel for the last couple of years. Uh, he's been a great host. I've had a good time doing these videos with him, but this will be my last video. Uh, I appreciate the support and the comments that you guys leave. Um, so keep doing that for Gio and um, appreciate it. Okay, here's the Let's Take the Man's Parlay Play and the six game six point teaser. Last week we won, uh, remember we had a, a teaser on Saturday. We missed that one by I think half a point. We got the teaser on Sunday. Uh, we missed the big parlay by two points. So close. And I can smell it this week. I think we're gonna do it. Here we go. For the Let's Take the Man's Money Parlay Play, we've got the New York Jets plus one, Green Bay minus 13, Kansas City minus nine, Philadelphia minus four, Indianapolis minus four, and we'll take over 47 in the San Francisco-Seattle game. A $25 bet will get us $1,296.70. And for the teaser play, we've got the New York Jets plus 7, Green Bay minus 7, Kansas City minus 3, Philadelphia plus 2, Indianapolis plus 2, and over 41 in the San Francisco-Seattle game. A $25 bet will get us $175. Good luck.
Okay, and those are our picks for this week. Good luck to you. I want to give a big shout out to my good friend, Billy B. He's been doing these videos with me for the last two years. It's been a pleasure, my friend. It's been great having you along. You're one of the best handicappers on YouTube, one of the best progs I know. You'll certainly be missed. Okay, for my good friend, Billy B. I am Geo. Happy New Year. And let's take the man's money.